In this video tutorial, you will learn how to work with the harmonics tool. This tool allows you to inject fault currents and voltages with harmonic content to test the inrush restraint or harmonic blocking function of recloser controls. You can select the second and fifth harmonic for both voltage and current and specify whether or not a trip is expected. In this tutorial, we will test an inrush restraint function with a threshold of 20% for the second current harmonic. In the first page, the duration of the pre-fault state can be defined. If the controller supports voltage inputs, a load angle between the current and voltage outputs can be entered. The load current is automatically taken from the settings in the hardware configuration. Next, the fault state can be defined. If you want to output voltages during the fault state, enter the voltage as a percentage of the nominal voltage. Set the fault current above the pickup setting of the controller and select the fault type. The fault duration defines for how long the harmonics are applied. The test ends when this time expires or when a trip signal is received. In the following page, the amplitudes of the harmonics can be configured. They are relative to and in phase with the previously defined fault values and are only applied to the faulted phases. Set the harmonic content to a value higher than the threshold of the corresponding inrush restraint function. If the controller should trip while the fault with harmonics is applied, turn on the Expect Trip toggle switch. You can then enter the expected trip time and an absolute tolerance to automatically assess the test result. Now, let's start the test. The state of the simulated recloser during the test is visualized in the animated picture on the left. After applying the pre-fault state for the defined time, the fault is applied. This is indicated by the harmonics symbol. The test results are displayed in the right half of the screen. You can see the defined trip time and the measured trip time. If the measured trip time is within a defined range, the test is assessed as OK and a green check mark is displayed. Otherwise, a red X is shown to indicate that the measured trip time is outside the tolerance range. If you want to test a function which blocks tripping, simply turn off the Expect Trip toggle switch in the previous screen. In this scenario, the test is assessed as OK if no trip is received during the fault state.